YouTube. What it do, dude? It's your boy Acapella Bully. So remember, turn up the volume so you can understand me fully. How y'all doing today? Beautiful Wednesday morning. I'm getting it in on this moment right now with y'all. You dig? Today we're gonna have a discussion, man. A nice, well in depth discussion about the main topic that has been in and out of people's mouths and circling around YouTube, sneaker culture, the internet, everything. The UAs, aka unauthorized authentic sneakers of all kinds. I'm talking about from Balenciagas, Louis Vuittons, uh 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 Gucci's uh off white sneakers air maxes of course jordan brand you dig and the main thing i want to say that i would separate uas and fake sneakers is the simple fact of the pricing and the way you feel when you buy either or when you buy a fake ass sneaker man you're not going to get the original box. <laughs> Hold on. I think I got to sneeze. Cover door, man. Hold on. I got to pause for the calls. <laughs> but, uh, you're not, you're not going to get the original box. You're not going to get no type of little extra laces that come with them. You're not going to get close to that authentic material. You're not going to get anything near the exact original, right? What you ways, unauthorized, authentic companies who make those sneakers, what they're doing is they're simply saying, okay, we can't give you the authentic pair that sold out where they was limited or rather you just don't have the money or the funds to buy the actual pair that may be $200 and up, or unfortunately that punk ass, bum ass, hateful ass resale price of $1,000 and up, y'all niggas ridiculous for that, but um, these companies are basically saying, you know what, we can't guarantee you A, B, C, and D, but we definitely can give you E, F, G, and a little bit of H, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, H me that happiness and half on that motherfucking thing, you know what I'm saying, and we're gonna still give you the box, if you come with extra laces, we can give you those, if it come, if the sneaker come with certain little cards and stickers and stuff, we can give you those, for said set, set price, it ain't retail, and it ain't fake pricing, it's somewhere in the middle, you know, say you got a sneaker that's 200, the fake pair costs 50, 59, 58 or some goofy stuff like that, right? But the UAs, the UAs might cost you 150, 175, maybe even 145, right? But remember, you didn't have a 200 and you got a little more than that 50, that 59, 58, you know what I'm saying? You got a little more to put on it. So you meet them in the middle. <sighs> right there. Perfect time. 150, 155, 145, 170 even maybe, depending on the sneaker, right? And you can consider the sneaker to be your grail sneaker, right? And you get it. You put your order in, they go overseas, of course, take about a week, come back, you get it. And guess what? You love the pair. You wind up Telling yourself, I'm glad I didn't just pass on them. And I don't feel guilty about buying these bitches. Like, so what? These look so real to the actual pair. I can get away with this shit. I don't have to put on a front for nobody. If a motherfucker say, damn, dude, them bitches hard. Them hoes clean. You ever be able to get those? How much you pay for them? You tell them the price. Like, damn, for real? Under retail? How you do that? Bro. They authentic. They uh, they not authentic. They unauthorized authentics. And when what are you gonna say? Oh, word. 
Shit, hey, them bitches clean, though. They might not be official, but they definitely look official. Ain't going about your day. Ain't no mother I ain't never seen in all the history of niggadom, all the history of mandom. None of that. I ain't never seen a nigga literally stand there and just critique a nigga's shoes who he didn't even know. I understand your homeboys might haze you. You know, your homegirls might be like rank on you a little bit. Ah, you got the foo foos on for a second. But then what? That shit go out the window. Y'all still cool. Y'all still homies. Nobody's punching you in the eye. Nobody's snatching them shits off your feet, throwing them over the fence. None of that is going to happen. Why people got to make it seem like that's what's going to happen? You ain't even going to do that shit. The niggas who be acting like they going to do that shit if they see a nigga with some un unauthorized, authentic pair. Stop it. For the simple fact, one, it ain't never that fucking serious. Two, it want you that got them on your feet. And three, if y'all motherfuckers just mind y'all business and let people do what they do with their money, the sneaker culture be the best place in the world. It ain't like a nigga sitting up here and trying to sell these motherfuckers and pass them off like they authentic. A nigga straight coming out telling you, keeping it a buck, keeping it a thousand with you like, hey, bro, these bitches ain't real, but they ain't super duper fake neither. It's hard to tell what I got on. They unauthorized authentics. You age, nigga. Some people might try to be smart ass and say, they still fake Nike brand and makeup, but nigga, they look like Nike brand made them. Just like a bitch with fake tits and these fake asses. It looked like the bitch was born with them shits, but the doctor made them. So what, you going to not fuck with the bitch? You going to not fuck her? You going to not treat her like a female than a woman with, with, with a soul and shit? You just going to treat her like she nothing and throw her to the side like she never existed? Fucking lying to yourself if you say, yeah, punch yourself in the mouth with a brick right now. Because you're not going to do that. Any one of them badass, fake booty, fake titty models walk up to any one of you bum ass YouTube niggas or any nigga in general giving y'all nigga the time of day to make her day. You niggas gonna jump on that shit with everything in your motherfucking soul. Y'all mean somebody y'all wanna marry that bitch in the first 10 minutes. Y'all wanna have kids with that bitch. Knowing you lying, you really just wanna fuck. And that's all niggas wanna do with their shoes. They just wanna be fly. Can a nigga be fly? Can a nigga get his motherfucking moment? It's niggas that wear fake jewelry every day. Y'all still gonna go out and buy them niggas' albums if they rap. If they actors, they get caught wearing a fake pair of whatever shoes. Y'all still gonna go watch them niggas' movies. If your favorite NBA player fucking ain't wearing his jersey and that bitch look foo foo than a motherfucker, you still gonna go buy that bitch or pick that bitch off the floor, he throw it on the ground. So I'm saying, what does you niggas really mad about? There's no argument with you niggas. There's no argument. If you see a motherfucker with UAs on, if you see a motherfucker selling UAs and he telling you that UAs, what is the motherfucking issue? There ain't one. You niggas be grabbing shit out the air doing hella reaching. Hella long uh, 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 Michael Jordan and Space Jam against the Monstars reaching. Cut that goofy shit out. Because at the end of the day, y'all niggas ain't stopping nothing. Y'all niggas ain't gonna stop nobody from getting no bread. Y'all ain't gonna stop a nigga from buying no bitches. And y'all damn sure ain't going over to China stopping them hundred billion motherfuckers over there from making them. Getting a piece of the pie. It's just like, cut all the shenanigans. Cut all the bullshit. They here. They, they a part of the culture. You gotta deal with it. If you don't fuck with them, don't fuck with them then. Simple as that. Walk right past them shits. If a nigga make a video on them, don't comment in the section, nigga. Just scroll right past the motherfucker. You already know what it's about. Because a nigga got it in his title, keeping it a hundred. Now, you can only come down on a nigga if he reviewing them shits, trying to pass them off like they real. I understand that. I totally agree. Don't be up here lying to niggas. We hate liars. That's a fact. If a nigga say he, a re say he not a reseller, but resell every sneaker he review or every sneaker he get, call that nigga out on that shit then. You niggas use a reseller. Just say it. You feel me? Or whatever the case may be. But if a motherfucker literally admitting to you what they got, what they doing, how this shit go, they giving you the whole menu, nothing hidden, a whole manuscript, and you niggas mad about that, there's no way you can be mad about that. At that point, you just hating on that man or that woman for doing what they doing. They ain't got no shame in their motherfucking game. Point blank, period. That's me. I'm selling you ways, my nigga. I'm going to sell them shits. I'm going to buy them for the low. I'm going to sell them how I want to sell them. 
And you niggas, whether you buy them or don't, if I tell you what the fuck they is, I give you the full description of what they is. I keep it all out on the table with you. And a nigga still want to buy them and still give me their money and we still can do business. My nigga, mind your motherfucking business. And stay on your motherfucking paper route. Because that's how you niggas wind up getting punched in your shit. Because you hating on a nigga. Not because you want to sit up here and say, already when I'm telling niggas, like, the UAs, I'm selling UAs. I'm selling this, I'm selling that, it is what it is, it is, it is, it is that, it is this and the third. Then you come right around and say the same shit I said, it's like, why is you just repeating me, my nigga? I don't need no motherfucking echo, dog. And you get punched in your shit for not minding your business, nigga. Straight like that, it happens every day. Niggas don't mind their business and they get fucked up. Rather they get noodled, aired the fuck out, jumped, stumped on, punched on, dragged down a motherfucking block. Whatever the case may be, it's simply only because you niggas don't mind your business. You niggas be motherfucking hating instead of motherfucking paper chasing. Bars, nigga. And that's a motherfucking fact. I mean that shit as a man, as a motherfucking nigga who gonna sell what the fuck you wanna sell, as a businessman and everything point blank, period. Mind your motherfucking business if it has nothing to do with you, my nigga. And if a nigga keeping everything a thousand, you have nothing to say to that man, like. Only, like they say, correct me when I'm wrong, acknowledge me when I'm right. I'm right on every aspect of what I'm doing what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. I ain't motherfucking out here passing them off as the left hand, they really right hand. I ain't motherfucking switching shit up. I ain't rewording shit. I ain't saying, no, oh, this ain't that. I'm not really doing that. Yes, nigga. Yes, I am really doing that. I am a reseller now. I know I bashed and I, I spoke without thinking. And I had to get my shit together on the reselling shit. I'm a reseller now. I'm selling UAs. I'm selling Authentics. I'm selling every, everything must go over here, my nigga. I'm all about the dollar. Only, only thing a nigga can say to me is, nah, bro, I'm good. Nah, I don't even want nothing. I don't want to buy your reels. I don't want to buy your, your UAs. I'm good. All right, nigga, bet. But the next man, I'm like, shit, let me get it all, bro. Fuck what you talking about. Let me get the UAs. Let me get the the authentics too, nigga. And let's 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 do business like that. Let's keep it pushing, keep it moving. Cause at the end of the day, one monkey don't stop no motherfucking show over here. No grinding, no nothing. I'm gonna do what I wanna do, how I wanna do it. As long as I'm true to it and I'm honest with my shit, nigga. Let me be. Let a nigga breathe. Cause all that that like kid bullshit that wanna be internet exposing niggas and. Bullying niggas, I don't go back and forth for no man. You say what you say, after I done said what I said, and nigga, it is what it is in the air. I ain't got to threaten no nigga. I ain't got to talk about putting guns on nobody. I ain't got to talk about nothing I'm going to do to no nigga. None of that gets said. You don't like me. You say that shit. It is what it is. I ain't going to be mad at you, bro. Speak your motherfucking peace. Because you know what's going to happen? You're going to keep being mad talking shit, and I'm going to keep on getting this motherfucking paper, and I'm going to keep on motherfucking selling my shit, and I'm going to keep on telling you niggas that this shit is what the fuck it is, point blank, period. And now, let me get my hat real quick, too. Shout out to the motherfucking you and gang, you and squad, you and family, you know what I'm saying? Them you and reviews will be coming soon, too. It's just that you and been slowed down on their releases, and a lot of shit that they already released, I really ain't feeling it, honest. Only being honest, you know what I'm saying? And when I do start getting, when I do, well, yeah, when I start getting my UAs in, it's going to be in the title of my motherfucking videos. I ain't going to be like, oh, look, I, I got limited such and such sneaker. Me knowing they UAs, but telling y'all they not. It's not going down like that over here. I keep everything above. I get some UAs, it's going to say unauthorized, authentic sneaker, whatever the sneaker may be, review. And I'm putting it up. Is it for sale? If somebody want it? Hey, yo, you selling them? I like them. They might not be uh, all the way authentic, but they ain't all the way horrible looking crazy fake. Can I get those? Bet. What's your cash app? Cash at me. What's up? You send me the money. I send you the shoe. We good. You want something else? You see our reviews. Everything for sale on my channel, man. I don't care. Everything is for sale on my channel. I'm selling all the sneakers, any clothing, any jewelry. If you can fit it, my dude. Or my, my lady, you can have it. You know what I'm saying? I'm selling there. All you got to do is hit me up in the comment section below. Get that cash app together. 
Send me that bread. Let me know what you want, and I'm sending it to you. If I got it, you can have it. Everything must go. Cause I'm all about spending my bread and making my bread back either double, triple, quadruple. But it's going to always be understandable and fair prices. And I'm going to tell you why everything is the way it is. It should be priced. I told you I keep it a buck. Keep it a thousand. Keep it a hundred. I'm only being honest. <laughs> you dig me? Point blank, period, man. And, and that's what I simply had to say in the whole nutshell, man. How long is this video going on for? Really ain't that long yet. Just been talking for a little bit. But I feel like I hit on all my points I wanted to hit on, man. And just put it out there that mind your business if ain't nobody doing that wrong. Y'all like the police, man. Y'all see a man standing over here, focus on getting his money. Mind his business, ain't doing nobody dirty, ain't hurt nobody, ain't disrespecting nobody. He just over here focused, and y'all want to come flashing y'all little lights trying to expose people talking this, talking that, recopying their videos. Like, what kind of weird ass shit is that you niggas be doing, man? It's a lot of you weird niggas behind these cameras, bro. That way, uh, Dave Chappelle said they should have never gave you niggas money. Well, I said they should have never gave some of you niggas cameras, point blank, period, and Wi Fi. Some of you niggas don't need to be on this side of that camera, man. Y'all niggas some straight, whack-ass, twisted, weird motherfuckers, man. And y'all don't want to be admitting that shit to yourself. When y'all get off that motherfucking camera, y'all look in the mirror and don't recognize yourself. When y'all turn that camera on, y'all just, I don't just metamorph into some old other shit. Weird-ass niggas, man. Get that shit together, man. Tighten up. But, uh, fuck it, man. Let me lose my train of thought. Wait, um... Yeah, when a nigga, when a nigga do, you know what I'm saying, when I, when I do deals and shit with people and shit like that, man, just, just, just fuck with it, man, yeah, oh yeah, the police scenario, yeah, y'all come over there shine y'all lights on niggas and shit, and, uh, and then wonder why, when y'all fuck with a nigga like that, his reaction be total crazy and negative, and wanna fuck one of you up, because, Y'all don't mind y'all motherfucking business, man. So all y'all got to do sometimes, man, just mind your motherfucking business. And the world will be a better place, man. Everything will be good. Everything will be hood. Everybody be Gucci, chilling and eating their popcorn like they watching a motherfucking movie. Barway. You did. So all of that to say this, man. I'm going to do me. I'm going to keep it a buck with my people, my fans, my whoever I'm doing business with, customers and all that. And until I fuck up, call me out on it. Like I said, correct me when I'm wrong. Acknowledge me when I'm right. Point blank, period. Since everybody want to do them, I'm this, that, and the third, such and such old. Yeah, I'm that old, nigga. That saying old. You dig me? Yeah. Get there. You dig and that's it, man. Stay stay tuned for further reviews coming up very, very soon. I'm waiting on my sneakers to come in right now, both UAs and Authentics. Some GRs, some uh, limited, some stuff exclusive, all that. And when it come through, I'm going to let you know what it is. And it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? And you got to believe me because, nigga, I'm a man of my word. Point blank, period, nigga. Ain't no fabrication over here. You did no lies will ever be told when I press record, nigga. That's that's self indictment, nigga. You did never doing that over here. You feel me? On me, motherfucker, y'all crazy for that shit. And uh, that's it, nigga. The motherfucking shoes and shit coming through, like I said, and all that great shit, man. Till then, like, comment, subscribe. And motherfucking turn on your notifications, cause it's bully gang and no gang. You dig me? One hundred, one thousand. Y'all keep smiling, man. Get there. Oh, and mind yours, nigga.